I'm Ike Avelli. A month ago, when I gave Rob $10,000 to make Little House on the Ferry, he was ecstatic. $10,000? That's not enough. Putting the show together has been a wild ride. Do you feel comfortable having a penis painted on to your crotch? If that's what the audience wants. I don't know if that is what the audience wants. We've worked through casting disagreements. Do you sing? No, but I'm gonna try. Okay, he doesn't sing, but he looks good. Now, take five. Crew meltdowns. I'm going to finish the fish costumes. Do you want that done or not? Are you gonna walk out of this project? And some minor creative differences. Where is the kiss? Where is the kiss? But the whole journey has led us to this moment. Showtime. Let's see if getting here was worth all the trouble. Long Island Railroad, 504, now boarding. Woo! Let me get on this screw stuff like this. How we doing, everybody, tonight? Yeah. Taxi trying for the 504, end quote. He's your boyfriend. I'm just saying. Oh, OMG, Jake's Rake blog reports the Democrats are pushing the gay marriage vote out of committee finally, hopefully, optimistically. More importantly, it's 502. Are we going to Fire Island or not? The next train doesn't leave until 553. Are we going to wait and not make Timothy mad, or get on and make it in time for happy hour? Oh, we call it tea. Excuse me, I mean in time for tea. Why do we call it tea? All aboard! Oh, well, Timothy can catch up later. Get on, Antonio, get on! Hold it, please! Hold the train! Hold the goddamn train! Uh, 
I got 30 birthday kisses all ready for you, darling. Oh, shush. My birthday isn't until tomorrow, and you didn't respond to one, not one of my texts nor tweets about the boat in Albany. And you're late. Hello, Antonio. I'm so glad you could uh, come. Cute shirt. <laughs> Thanks. I bought it just for this weekend at that cute store on 9,000. Babylon Express train. Next station is Jamaica. All tickets, please. Get off in Jamaica for JFK, JFK change of Babylon for Petro. <laughs> <laughs> with that great shore, I slip. Bay time, Elf Woods, and Sable. The Fire Island Ferry. Here's the reality on this boat. It's not a court case like in Massachusetts with some liberal New England judges. Those upstate Republicans in Albany, they control the Senate, and they will simply <laughs> block it all at the last minute, just like they did the last two times. Political theater. The vote won't. It simply won't pass. Don't say it won't pass, Mr. Quote, I'll never be over an hour late again, end quote. Soon as I got off this three-way conference call with senior partners Weissman and Gould, I made a rush dash to Penn. It was some third world taxi driver who almost made me miss the train. <coughs> got off? Wait, what about a third world three-way? <laughs> Darling, Darling, please tell me that between listening to your Broadway show tune station and reading your blog, you had time to edit the Seattle tax document with footnotes and, and work is over. We're so mundane, we've left the city. I made the train a destination. It's on my brain, reaching sun and waves and waves when we're on fire. Wagon parking. Cute, right? Wagon parking? Yeah, there's no cars. 
Only cute little wagons. And cute boys. Oh, Huffington Post reports third time's the charm for New York State. Holy mother of Lady Gaga! <laughs> CNN quotes Governor Cuomo. Quote, it passed, I will sign it tonight, end quote. Cuomo, raise their taxes, Cuomo. You can't trust them. The vote won't, it simply won't pass. I use me, oh, look at that dogging out of the bin. He's fucking huge. That, that's not a dog. That's a deer. A deer. <laughs> yes, like Bambi. Only that's a stag. A young male buck. No the antlers. Take my photo with the deer. Yeah, Rango, take our photo with the deer. Rango! <laughs> Connection sucks on this island, and it Oh no, stop! Oh, I got four bars right here. Uh, I'm not moving until I tweet back at all these right-wingers posting all this clueless, callous crap. Do you see that deer? I mean, stag jumped that fence? A perfecto para un selfie. Uh, 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 and, and, uh, Antonio, no climbing, no mass. You might fall on your pretty little <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it won't pass. Don't say it won't pass. Well, Timothy, Antonio. Don't say it won't pass. Don't say it won't pass. After years and years, I'll vote on us queers. A decision today on marriage that's gay. For he and he, for she and she. Don't say it won't pass. Oh, Randa from Rokonkoma, your rant is just wrong. We're not moving too fast, we've waited too long. Hashtag marriage equality. Don't say it won't pass. Don't say it won't pass. Is this meant to be or just fantasy? Another lost cause restricted by laws. That's my reality. It's hard to be me. Don't say it won't pass. Oh, Fred from Fredonia, you ain't got a clue. Jesus loves everyone, so Freddy, fuck you. Hashtag, <laughs> can I vote on your marriage? <laughs> Don't say it won't pass. Don't say it won't pass. Just once, can I have it my way? Oh, Lord, what do you say? This fight's just a metaphor. from Buffalo. Your bravado is bullshit. I was born this way and that's just it. Hashtag can I vote on your marriage? Don't say it won't pass. Don't say it won't pass. After years and years a vote on us queers. A decision today on marriage that's gay. For he and he. For she and she. Don't say it won't pass for you. the underwear party over at the Ice Palace in the Grove last night. <laughs> uh oh 
it just needs some cherries. Oh, I can't seem to open this jar of maraschino cherries. Max, <laughs> I, I'm sorry to wake you. But the rest of the share is gonna be here any minute and like well, you're so strong. <laughs> Can you open this jar for me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are good with the top. Now go back to school. <laughs> Donnie, Donnie, did you hear the news? I'm out on the deck, Randall, out here. Donnie, it's the big, big, big news. First, this is where we hug. <laughs> Timothy too. <laughs> And, and it's the biggest gay news since Stonewall. James Randall, Rick's Randall, not so loud. Yeah, Donnie, you can't quiet him down. It's been ranting since Penn Station. <laughs> oh, the new news is that, that you have another cute boy as your weekend guest. Randall, that's old news. <laughs> uh, is the Wi-Fi still down? Yes, Damn it. down and out. Is the roof deck done? The roof. Oh, just let me run up to the roof and connect to MSNBC. They have a new video out about the boat. BRB. <laughs> BRB? He'll be our beat. Be right back, you know, internet lingo. Ugh, I abhor internet lingo. Ever since I got this new smartphone, it's been impossible. Donnie, <laughs> this is, uh... Hola. Hi, I'm Antonio from San Antonio. First time in the Pines. Oh, well, bonjour, mon invité. I am Donnie from Greenwich Village. <laughs> and... Uh, Season veteran of 280 Shady, also known as the Little House on the Ferry. <laughs> you mean Little House on the Prairie, like Laura and Mary? I always wanted to be Nelly. <laughs> no, Ferry. It's one of the last original houses left in the pines, unlike those big nameless McMansions decorated to the nines. In 65 on the mainland, it was so carefully built and then floated over on a ferry and dropped right here on stilts. <laughs> Like Dorothy's house in The Wizard of Oz that was dropped on the Wicked Witch? No. It was carefully floated over on a barge along across the South Bay by George's father. But, but his, his sister's, sister's a, a wicked, wicked bitch. <laughs> Unlike other Pines homes that were reno, raised, rebuilt, and given no name, Little House is petite, classic, and remains the same. With rental income, deductions, and unrealized gains, in 65 on the mainland, it was so carefully built, then floated over on a ferry and dropped right here on stilts. Now, who's George? Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Donnie. Uh, uh, everything's set for Randall's surprise party oh. tomorrow? Oh, yes, yes, uh-huh. Um, the pavilion, the banner, the guests, and yes, I've got all the receipts. I, I promise oh. not to tell Donnie. I mean, Randall. Does Macy's tell Gimbals? Oh, Timothy, Donnie, Antonio! Oh, the vote! The vote is Planters in! Planters punch! Thank you. And yes, Randall, I heard about the vote. But let's first all have a drink together to officially start the weekend. Yes, Randall, put the phone down. I go to the day spa for the full treatment in ten, no, nine minutes. Come on. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Here's to a great weekend. Oh, the forecast is fantastic. And I'm so glad to have my B weekend back. <laughs> oh, I hate that half share. And the other quarter shares, just they're all screwed up. Oh, I look forward to you, Randall, Timothy, and cute guests. <laughs> <laughs> my B weekenders. <laughs> B weekenders, what? Like we're second rate or something? <clears throat> No, newbie. <coughs> Summer shares are divided into A, B, C, and D, alternating weekends. In this share, I am the full share, which is half of the whole, and then A combined with C, which is a half share, is one half of the other half, and then D, which is a quarter share, is one half of the remaining half, and B is... Present company included! <laughs> a, C, D, quarter, half, huh? <coughs> Full share is all summer long for every day. Half share is every other weekend starting in May. A quarter share is one weekend a month. Food. Like us! Guests are always welcome. If it's cute, it's a plus. If you follow the house rules, there won't be a fuss. George's house rules. House rules. When you use the microwave, unplug the toaster. Drinks on the oak table, please use a coaster. Keep sex in your room where it's out of sight. Don't jump on the balcony, you're so impolite. If you follow the house rules, there won't be a fight. Survival kid. Survival kid? Insects repel and for mosquito bites. A pump, like just for when it's dark. 
sunscreen for your skin and breath mints in a tin. Daddy, don't forget to put the condoms in. I am your sweetie. Wow, thanks so much, everybody. You're too kind. Now I think I'm ready for the beacon in the pine. So memorize the rest. There may be a test. We don't expect perfection from a weekend guest. If you follow the house rules, you won't be a guest. One more question. Who's that stag over there? Oh, Antonio, darling. The white-tailed deer are all over Fire Island. They're pests, really. Did you know that one bitch of the Bambi actually jumped the fence and ate all of my beautiful marigolds no, and not the deer? That muscle boy in the chair over there sleeping. Yeah, Donnie. Who is that? Oh, I rented out the cabana to a bartender from Sip and Twirl. His name is Max. Oh. Good. The spa boys are ready for it. The full treatment. <laughs> tea or tea? Why do they call it tea? Timothy, you don't need the spa. You already look wonderful. And every time you get the full treatment, you're always tardy to the tail end of tea. <sighs> Bye, Donnie. Adios, Antonio. Hey, that bartender and muy grande for such a small cabana. I mean, look at those calves. Oh, Donnie, you hate running out the cabana. Well, I've changed my mind. Besides, he's been the perfect tenant. Sleeping all day and <clears throat> working all night. Really? He's staying right here? He's a bartender. He's muscular. He's gorgeous. When is he waking up? Oh, yes, he's staying right here, but uh, right now, tell me all about you, Antonio de San Antonio. Well, I moved to New York about eight months ago, tempted to hopefully perm down the hall from Randall's cubicle. And how often do you think Max works out? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm sure he's helped by his uh, special routines. Special routines. Oh, you know, very good supplements. <laughs> supplements? Routines? What do you mean? He's about the no so lean. His muscles have a sheen. He takes the right protein and his creatine. He's like fantasy with arms that cannot be. Well, not naturally. Must be injecting. <laughs> <laughs> No disguise 
20 minutes. Oh! Just another minute, Mr. Timothy. Come here, please. Mod pack must be exact. But, but I'm late. Just three more minutes, Mr. Timothy. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Time for Aunt Mudding. <laughs> you took so damn long just for the Aunt Mudding. I, I need to go to tea. <gasps> so no full treatment then? No full treatment. OK. Just a nothing, Mr. Timothy. Chill, boys. Nobody's Mr. Timothy. Yes, grandma in home country says varies, cause even more fingers. More than you old lady obsess. Uh, uh, <laughs> the word is possess. Oh, yes, Mr. Timothy. You are possessed with looks. Uh, now the word is obsessed. Ah, obsessed with looks. It's better word. No, we learned from Rosetta's mom. Then, 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 No, that means mouth beard, like on those hairy bears we saw in P Town last July. <laughs> <laughs> Obsessed with looks. Is bird not manatee? No. <laughs> no. Manatee is big water animal we saved in Florida last year with a lot of scratch of ticket. What is that bad? Bottle of Winter time. The word is manatee. Not who I am, but what I hear to be. So far this year I've had some Botox, some talk, and a lot I poke suck. It's insanity! I was a sight to see. Oh, how the young boys used to stare at me. Now the rain comes worse than for the moment. You're sucking! Your eyelids are bagging! Quiet drastically! My face was smooth. My skin was strong, but sadly youth is gone. So under the knife I go. My real age will never show. No gravity. The constant battle against gravity. So let's have three chances. Yes. My new veneers that the I see. Okay, Mr. Timothy, you thought you young. Come <laughs> on. 
He wants a special. He needs to find someone special. Oh, isn't that special? <laughs> One, two, three, four shouting. Well, that's twice. Welcome to the famous Blue Well, Antonio, and your first low tea. Oh. Um, these are our seats. Hello. <laughs> Day trippers. <laughs> oh, I have been coming to Fire Island for 27 years, and I never tire of Friday low tea. It's like the synagogue of Fire Island. Synagogue? <laughs> yes. It's Friday night. All of the men in town attend by walking here, and everyone's praying for a religious experience. <laughs> and why do they call it tea? Oh, you don't know? There's no smartphone app for gay Fire Island etymology? Well, tea was derived in the 1920s. Liquor was illegal, so gin was served in teacups. So men would ask women to tea, disguising that it was a trip to a speakeasy. Well then, um, after prohibition was repealed by the 21st Amendment, a homosexual man would ask another man to tea, hiding that it was for a chat, a drink, a date, a uh, And it was from this linguistic usage that uh, the gay 1970s cultural revolution adapted this word for summer afternoon happy hours uh, for someone looking for a chat, a drink, a, a, a date, <laughs> aka tea. What are you, like the gay Wikipedia or something? <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, Donnie, the New York Times, the New York Times, quote, marriage equality in New York is more likely than ever. Albany oh. to hold rare late night vote with Cuomo trying to persuade senators to break away from the Republican bloc, end quote. Oh, if marriage equality <coughs> passed tonight, I just wish George could be here to see it. Now, who's George? Is he in the A, C, or D weekend? George, George, my beloved husband, of 22 years. We met right here at Low T, August 7th, 1987. He's now my dearly departed, cut down in his prime. And that has been over two years ago, and high time you started to date. Oh. If we can put a man on the moon, we can put one on you. Now there are all these gay apps with guys hunting nearby for a chat, a drink, a date, oh, a fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make Antonio a match. <laughs> so, Antonio, how about that cute 20 nothing over there? Red tank top, staring at who? I'm kind of waiting, Max said he'd pop by tea. Have you seen him yet? Back to who's got the next round. <laughs> Fine, my turn. Planner's punch? Yes, please. <clears throat> Moi aussi. Three planners punches, please. Good alliteration. Oh, I'm good at alliteration, but I'm better at assonance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you happen to know what's in these planters punch potions, perchance? Hmm. Um, Quote: Two ounces of rum, a quarter of an ounce of grenadine, sour mix, orange juice, and a red cherry. <laughs> or if you love pineapple, you can substitute. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yes, love pineapple, and a good guide. My first few hours ever on the pine since arriving on the 6.30 p.m. ferry. Oh, I was on that ferry, too. I know. Bartender, make it four planters punches, but make mine a double. I'm Jake. How long are you here? Randall. And it's my fourth summer in a share house. And a planters punch is already a double? So what did you have planned for your first day in the pines? Just happy hour. We call it tea. I started staring. What? At me. I said hello. You're quite friendly. I want a hug. I'd love to touch. Cause I'm on fire. Rather, quote, too expensive, end quote. And what do you mean, cover it? A 
I write a blog on marriage equality, and Mr. Goldstein invited me to be the keynote speaker. Can I call you Randy? No. Stop. You're Jake Wallace of Jake's Rake blogging fame? I don't know about fame. Oh, <laughs> gee, I, I quote you all the time. Your words mean so much. You even have your own special alert on my phone. <laughs> well, that's my view. You think like me. In <coughs> civil rights. I agree. Legal marriage and equality. Cause we're on fire. I love me. Um, well, no, I, st I still don't see Max. Um, Randall, um, our drinks. Hold that thought. I have to bring my friends their drinks. BRB. Oh, it's you. Uh, how was the spa? You're late for tea. I'm right on time. Who have you found here? I'm Jake. Uh, Jake Wallace of Jake's Rake, the, the blog I read all the time. He's here to cover, it will speak at the hoedown. <laughs> you know the one I want to go to? Expensive. Too expensive. Randall, our drinks. And you are? Timothy Royce, Esquire of Weissman, Gold and Cantor, LLC. And Randall's boyfriend. Oh. So you have a boyfriend. How long are you two together? Four years. Almost five. Getting in line at City Hall if the boat goes through tonight? We would, we would doubt it ever passes. Senate controlled by Republican asses. <laughs> Don't you support marriage equality? Don't you want to get married, Randy? Uh, it's Randall. And wait a minute. Aren't you that candidate from Kansas? A candidate? Well, I'm not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're him. I recognize you. Some sort of scandal a few years ago. A scandal? More like an incidental incident. I can just search it right here on YouTube. Let me see. Kansas scan. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, found it. The Outer Republican. Republican. <laughs> The news into the new congressional candidate, Jake Horatio Wallace, heir to the Wallace Trust and one of the most righteous Republicans in the state, was unceremoniously kicked out of a local motel. With more on this, our field reporter, Don Canavers. Don, what can you tell us? Uh, police responded to a noise from the four El Dorado Hotel. Jake Wallace and specifically his male guests were cited for disturbing the peace and interference with police. A TV10 exclusive. We interviewed the motel clerk who had this to say. Blaring him, loud music blaring. I banged on the door. With no answer, I entered with the pass key. The candidate was with another man. Both men were crazy. Copulating. The other man ran into the bathroom that was screaming he wouldn't come out of the shower. The candidate pleaded with me to pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Don, for that revealing story. And that's the news. <laughs> Internet has spoken. That was a long time ago. Now I have a blog and so much going on. And yes, Randall reads me your blog from chime to chime. And it's awfully one-sided, don't you think? Yeah, it's a blog. Well, Jake, tell us more about the hoedown. You often added up counterpoints and conservative views, even on economic issues. Well, I believe in helping the poor. Oh, helping the poor. Well, <laughs> Timothy used to do free legal work for an AIDS charity. <laughs> Damn, Elaine. The office again? Yeah, it seems like the Seattle office wants the latest version of the tax document before they close for the weekend. Where is it? It's back on my laptop in the share house. It still needs a little work. If I could only win this tax case, I know I would make partner. Partner? Oh. So my proud masters in English from NYU, let's go back and edit it right now. Mr. Rake. No, but we're supposed to go to the pier and watch the beautiful sunset over the bay. I'll uh, have to postpone that till later. Wow. You must be a powerful lawyer if you can postpone the sunset. <laughs> Bartender, plant punch pronto. Uh, let's go, Wrangle. 
Bartender! Bartender, you can't get a damn drink in this here town. It's nice meeting you, Jake. Let's go, Rumble! If I catch the sunset, I'll describe it to you later, Randy. Damn, we never got our drinks. <laughs> there better be a house rule for that. Oh, mignon. Huh? Cute. You know, you remind me of myself, my first time in the Pines. So, in honor of your Fire Island debut, I am going to take you on a tea tour. You gonna be my wingman? Well, I'll take you under my wing. <laughs> it's 8.15 now, low tea is over. Now it's off to high tea, then pool tea, then lena tea, a long tea. <laughs> Baby. 
my chemise. Oh, your door. Oh, come help me with the potatoes. In Little House, dinner is served Friday night at 10 p.m. sharp. <laughs> Randall, are you still looking at that Jake the Cutie's blog? No. Oh, that Jake the fake. What are you reading? Playbill.com to see when Carol Channing will play Dolly in Hello Dolly again, again? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm searching for information about the vote. We got 28 Democrats. We just need three more votes. Three Republican votes, none of which will ever go for it. The vote won't, it simply won't pass. I can't get any news video stream with only one bar on my phone. <laughs> Donnie, is the Wi-Fi still broken, WTF? <laughs> WTF? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, uh, the Wi-Fi has now uh, Oh, and the dishwasher on the fritz, too. Did Max broke the dial. Where is Max? Oh, he went to visit the boys next door. Visit? <laughs> Oh, Antonio wants to, Chef. Just tell me. Here, why don't you flip the burgers while I mix the salad? Oh, no, stop! Oh, server updating, server updating! Oh, the last Republicans are voting right now. I don't think I can eat tonight if the vote is no. I could eat. Antonio made my meat sizzling. <laughs> Matt, dinner's ready! Oh, I got it! Hey! You got what? Oh, I got a live audio stream from Albany. <laughs> The count of New York Senate Bill A8354 to amend the domestic relations law on this, the 24th day of June, 2011, is 29 days and 33 days. The bill passes. I can even get married in my hometown. In Buffalo, your mother, honey, let's slow down. We got our rice hey, tonight. We faced the foes and we fought the fight. We got our rice hey, tonight. From Niagara Falls to Brooklyn Heights. I can't believe it came to pass. Thank Governor Cuomo from busting his ass. Here come the flags. It's time to salute. Hi, I'm Michael Musto, the host of Theality TV. Do you have a musical that you're hoping to get produced? Hoping to bring it to New York, stage a backers audition with red carpet and cast party? Then go to theality.tv and submit your book, music, and production history. You could be the next star with the next musical on Theality TV.